Hello, everybody, and welcome to this week's Trivia Super Game. I'm Mackenzie, and this is Matt. We're going to be playing some music trivia and giving away a cool $100 cash prize to the winner. So welcome, Matt. Welcome to our friends in the chat. This is going to be awesome. I'm super excited. Um, before we get into it, I'll give a quick reminder of how this is all going to work. Now, every day, we're running daily trivia challenges over at watchmojo.com slash play at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Now, when you play the daily challenges, you rack up mojo points for things like correct answer streaks and for inviting friends to join the game. Now, you can then redeem those mojo points for entrance into our weekly super game, where we give away an amazing $100 cash prize, which is what we are here to do today. Now, today's game is going to cost you 50 mojo points, so if you want to compete, please open another tab, go to watchmojo.com slash play, sign in, and we've got about 15 minutes till the game starts. Like I said, category is music. Now, if you don't have 50 mojo points today, fear not, don't be upset, keep hanging out with us, we're going to be streaming the game here, and uh, keep playing those daily trivia challenges, like I said, every day, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time over at watchmojo.com slash play, and make sure you tune in next week for our super game, same time, same place, where it can be your chance to win $100. Now, I've been talking for a really long time already. So, uh, hey, Matt, how's it going? <laughs> I'm quite well. Thank you very much. I was like, why did she invite me? She's just going to gab this whole time. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot to get out of the way. I want to make sure everybody knows what's going on. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, very precise. You have to let everyone know. I respect it. I respect it. Well done. Good job. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I'm seeing hello, Teddy from Pennsylvania. Welcome to the show. Uh, Vincent also excited for trivia. I am as well. Thank you for joining. Um, now, Matt, you're a music guy, I'm a music guy. How are you yeah. feeling about today's game? Excited, confident, what? Well, uh, you know, maybe slightly confident, but I'm also a little nervous just because um, I tend to listen to a few genres um, exclusively. <laughs> um, and I know it's not gonna be exclusively the genres I listen to on this trivia. So um, yeah, my knowledge might um, be exposed here, but you know, I feel confident. I'm gonna go with the fast answer strategy and hope that play uh, pays off. Um, wow, I, yeah, I love see. how much thought you've already put into this. You're like, he's got a strategy, he's been brushing <laughs> up on non deep cut EDM, non deep cut screamo, non yeah, yeah, <laughs> like, exactly. just listen to the Beatles for once and we'll get through today just fine. <laughs> the Beatles, who are they? I'm not sure. Are they emo? Or no. <laughs> very underground. Very underground. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah, that's why. Because it, I, I generally generally listen to emo. Not sure how many emo questions are going to be up there. But you know, I have some dad rock knowledge. Um, you know, I listen to my dad <laughs> music too. So we'll see if that comes up. But yeah, you know, fast answers, and then hopefully I just get some some big points. We'll see. Love that. Yeah, because really there's a hundred dollar cash prize, but uh, you also get bragging rights and, you know, some friends, friends, the friends you make along the way also. So it's not a total loss. Totally. Yeah, it's all <laughs> no. about friendship. Right. <laughs> no, for context, for context, for people who don't know us personally, uh, Matt and I did not grow up together, but through our friendship have learned that we were the exact same teenager. So we're both really excited because a lot of early, two well, 2004 emo albums are turning 20 this year. Mm -hmm. um, Matt, do you want to tell the people uh, what a few examples of some, some heavy hitters are? Uh, there's definitely a few. Um, the biggest one that our audience might might remember is Three, uh, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge by My Chemical Romance. That's turning 20 this year. Um, that was an iconic album for me, but apparently not so much for you. We've had this argument <laughs> on which is the superior uh, My Chemical Romance album, this or uh, Black Parade. But um, yeah. Uh, I don't know if you want to expand on that or not, but uh, yeah, there's <laughs> a bunch that are coming out. Um, but I think that's probably like the biggest one or that, yeah, the audience will probably know the most, I'd say. You're calling me out and you're putting me on the spot. I love yeah, that. Yeah, I got to put um, you on the spot. Yeah. <laughs> now, okay, I'm going to ask our, our friends in the chat. I'm going to ask our friends in the chat also, let us know what high what album defined your high school years. Because um, Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge and The Black Parade were big ones for me. Um, I think Three Cheers for Sweet Revenge by My Chemical Romance is kind of the fan favorite. Um, but I think, I don't know, but I think uh, The Black Parade is maybe a higher production value. 
it's kind of a bigger concept album. Mm -hmm. um, but I got to say, I honestly, mm -hmm. I love them both. But let us know in the chat what album defined your high school years. And uh, let's see uh, let's see what comes up. I'm interested to know what's everybody into. Um, yeah. But another one that defined my years, that era for me that's turning 20, is Watch Out by Alexis on Fire, uh, oh. a Canadian post-hardcore band, <laughs> which sounds like a deep cut, but actually they were really famous. So. Um, yeah, I'm wondering if we're going to see some like new touring. Kill Switch Engage, yes. Douglas, oh, no. Oh, nice. We found Good our answer. audience here. Here they yes. come. <laughs> yeah. here come the another month. Kids. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> we were pariahs 20 years ago, but we found our community in Watch Mojo Trivia. Exactly. <laughs> it's having its resurgence, you know, when we were young, fast. Come on. Yes. <laughs> Hybrid Theory. Classic. Classic. Nick, great choice. Oh, Jagged Little Pill, yes. Mm. Amazing. Wow, everybody in this chat really had good taste. That's so exciting. Yeah, I feel like I'm the wrong guest for this one now. Now, like the actual good picks come in, you know, your classic <laughs> places, the ones that, you know, you, you can tell they have music taste. Beastie Boys, look at that. Yeah, License to Ill, that album is, yeah. uh, is insane. <laughs> like, Disturbed. Nerves, punk, oh, Disturbed kids. was, uh, they were one of the first bands that kind of got me into like actually like more heavy music. Because at that Would point, you... I was just into, you know, like dad rock and then Disturbed, my like older, my friend's older brother showed me Disturbed and I was like, oh my God, okay. So you would say you came down with the sickness? Oh yeah, 100%. <laughs> I was about to do ooh ah, 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 but no, I, we, we can't save that for live. We don't know how many tapes that's gonna, you know, take, so. Yeah, we can't, there's no post. We can't fix it in, pro, in post. Yeah. <laughs> you found glory. Yes. Jose, let's go, pop punk for the win too. So that's it, if, uh, you know, uh, you know very well, but emo is definitely a huge genre for yes. me and uh, pop punk, which you don't like because you're just like- I like too some. Weird. Okay, I, okay. Because I said what? <laughs> Dancy, you just like angry, hard music. Yes, music to dance to. That's evidenced by like the several pop punk bands I've sent you to listen to. And then I ask for <laughs> a review. <laughs> So what about this band? And then you send me like Marilyn Manson or something. That's not true. <laughs> it's a little That trick. may or may not have happened. That may or may not have happened. <laughs> okay, I'm just gonna give a quick reminder for anyone who's maybe just jumping in. Uh, we're here to play music trivia today. We're giving away a hundred dollar cash prize. If you want to join, uh, open another tab, watchmojo.com slash play, sign in. We got about uh, 10 minutes to go, maybe a little more. Um, you got to redeem 50 Mojo points to uh, join today's game. Uh, if you don't have 50 Mojo points, then please uh, continue playing our daily trivia challenges every single day, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Watch mojo.com slash play and uh, come back same time, same place next week. We're going to be giving away another $100 cash prize. Um, okay, cool. So I, I want to keep talking nostalgia because I feel like right. even though we're always like absorbing new music, uh, there's lots going on. I think we always do kind of go back to those like original maybe let that original roster, or at least I do. Um, oh, so yeah. I'm wondering, what was your first concert? <laughs> Matthew, if you want to tell the class and uh, everyone yes, in the chat, what was your first concert and what did you wear? And if you don't remember what you wore, it's fine. But I'm just curious. <laughs> no, I was, was going to say, I definitely do not remember what I was wearing because this okay. was like 20 years ago. Um, <laughs> my first concert was at uh, the Bell Center, big arena here in Montreal. Uh, and I saw Avril Lavigne first concert. So. It was pretty, it was pretty sweet. Although at that point, uh, you know, I'm an elder emo, so, you know, that might, you know, spoil my age a little <laughs> bit, but I won't say the exact number for you youngins out there. But yeah, it was kind of like during that time where it was like slightly embarrassing for guys to like Avril, you know, but uh, I was always proud. I was like, no, I'm going, I'm going with my brother. And then my brother was like, oh, why'd you say I'm going? And, but yeah, I was probably wearing probably all black although at that point too like skater culture was really big so it was probably yeah. like dickies and like a hoodie um you were the skater boy yeah exactly <laughs> I, I dressed for the part it was like a character you know yeah, right. it was also just my normal everyday style slash your dad's tie which wasn't as subversive when worn by you <laughs> yeah exactly <laughs> exactly <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, probably that. Um, I actually don't know if I had a tie. That would have been like perfect. Uh, but I definitely did have like a studded belt, you know. Naturally. Um, yeah. So Avril Lavigne. Uh, yeah. And all black, probably. It was good times. It was pretty awesome. 
<laughs> Amazing. I was seeing well, someone in the yeah. in the chat was saying uh, Foo Fighters. Yeah. That's a great first concert. That's a really awesome. Good yeah. Yep. Yeah. Um, really I I'm sorry to bring this back to my Chemical Romance, but the Black Parade tour. I think maybe that's why I hold it so close to my heart. Partially, uh, that was my first concert. Mm -hmm. uh, my dad chaperoned. I was twelve. The year was two thousand seven. <laughs> You were chaperoned. Oh yeah, I love yeah. it. Big see, city I was concert. Old to be, like kind of mean enough to see the the young kids with their parents and be like, oh look, there's a parent with their kids. So embarrassing. <laughs> look at They're that loving, supportive dynamic. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so embarrassing. Oh, she has like supportive parents. That's so rare. <laughs> so rare for this scene. <laughs> totally, totally joking. It's still angsty. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah, when you're an emo kid, the angst never goes away. It's always there, just, you know, <laughs> ready to pull up to the surface. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, we have a friend in the chat is saying first concert I think was Coldplay's "A Head Full of Dreams" tour back in 2015, 2016. I'm 20 now, but I'll never forget it. They were amazing. Awesome. Nice. That sounds like a really cool memory. Uh, oh, the Bee Gees wearing bell-bottom jeans and a red gingham check wow. halter top. Delilah, you icon. Wow. <laughs> That's amazing. That's amazing. Didn't yeah, expect to see that answer on there, or you yeah, know, today. I mean, yeah, that's extremely cool. Yeah. Um, okay, so we got like a couple of minutes left. I'm going to give one more reminder about how to join. Uh, now, we're going to be giving away a hundred dollar cash prize. Categories: music, as you may have surmised if you've been hanging out with us for a couple of minutes. Please open another tab, watchmojo.com/play, sign in, and uh, you're going to need to redeem fifty Mojo points to join. If you don't have 50 Mojo points, no stress. Just keep hanging out with us. We're going to be streaming the game. And then I keep playing the daily challenges every day, 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And then you can participate in next week's Super Game. Now, OK, what are you listening to right now? Because we've been talking about like music of yore, what we've been listening to. Everybody take some mm -hmm. notes and let us know in the chat what you're listening to, because we all could use some recommendations. Yeah, totally. I'm stuck on emo. So anything that pushes me outside <laughs> that genre a little bit, you know, I appreciate. <laughs> towards, the light, towards the light, nudging towards the light. Yeah, exactly. I'm just stuck in the darkness over here. So, <laughs> yeah. Although I've been listening to a lot of uh, Gracie Abrams uh, lately, which is just kind of, you know, like nice little, uh, it's like, yeah, just pop, kind of folky a little bit, indie pop, good stuff. She opened for Taylor Swift too, which was really cool. I was like, oh, she's made it. She's yeah, made she's it. doing it. Yeah. Although she is also uh, JJ Abrams' daughter. So, Oh, okay. Oh, Interesting. Little, yeah, yeah. Good for her. Good for her. Yeah, she's doing it. <laughs> yeah. Um, I kind of recently for myself discovered uh, The Beaches, which is kind of a rock and roll alt rock uh, band from Toronto, Ontario that are extremely cool. Um, encourage oh, wow. everyone to check out. It's hard to know sometimes if people are like famous famous or if they're like Canadian <laughs> famous because we listen to a lot of Canadian music here. Mm -hmm. um, so Regardless, if you know them or don't know them, I encourage you to check them out. Very, very is cool. The, uh, the the female trio, I think, is that them? I believe they are a quad. A quad, yes, okay. Yes, all very, very like cool, talented women. Yeah, I, I've been seeing them on like my Instagram and TikTok. It could be the Canadian algorithm, but yeah, I see them everywhere too. <laughs> the CanCon, yeah, yeah, <laughs> they're catchy. They're catchy. Yeah. Okay, we have uh, someone in the chat is saying Cage the Elephant, Shake Me Down. That's a yeah. great, like kind of indie pop classic, I think, of the mm -hmm. 2010s. Great song, great jam. That whole album is good. Emo music, post-hardcore, and Willie Nelson is my recent mix. Trenton, Man After My Own Heart. <laughs> 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 Love it. Um, okay, Van Morrison, Boz Skegg, Steely Dan, Michael Grove on his own vibe. Love to see it. Guys, we got about... 30-ish seconds to go. So gear up. If you have any final questions about how to join the game, please uh, drop us a note. We'll be happy to let you know. Um, oh, I also wanted to mention uh, Boy Genius. I think everybody knows this band by now. They've like kind of exploded in the last year or so, but I've been listening to uh, the record, which is what the album is called, uh, pretty That's much every rainy year. day. Yeah, like Come every on, rainy day so since good. the day I first heard it. So. <laughs> I don't know if you can, uh, I can't tell. Oh, this, that's a Phoebe Bridgers uh, picture right there. Oh, it's like reverse camera, so I don't know if, uh, it's like I point and it's like in the opposite direction. <laughs> I'm like, oh yeah. my God. <laughs> but yeah, Phoebe Bridgers is, is probably my favorite artist of all time. So if there's okay, a bunch guys. of Phoebe questions, we're good. Oh, we Game go. has just begun. Sorry to cut you off, Matt. Which okay. band features Jack Black, not Boy Genius, a different band? 
I'm pretty sure I got this one. <laughs> I clicked it real fast too, so. Yeah, good reminder to everybody who's joining us for the first time, the faster you answer, the more points you receive. Um, so if you or don't know at all, whatever you want, that's, you know, better for us other competitors. <laughs> yeah, it depends on what you want to win. Yeah. <laughs> um, if you're indifferent to winning, then answer at whatever pace you choose. <laughs> <laughs> My uh, super competitive uh, uh, vibes are coming out right now. I'm just like, everyone's slow. <laughs> Fast, you have a conflict of interest. We bring you on to like explain the game, and you're like, first of all, everybody, if you guess it wrong. <laughs> yeah. Oh, this one I clicked without even really thinking because I panicked. I didn't, I was like, it's gonna take too long for me. <laughs> it better be here it goes again. No, have you seen Donnie Darko? Yeah, I know, but I didn't what emo I kid has never seen Donnie Darko? <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's like mandatory viewing, like just revoke your membership card. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a difficult one. I don't know. Who was the first musician to host SNL? I think I know, but I'm not sure. Let's see. What did you say? Oh, oh I was right. You were? Well, congratulations. Did you click real fast, though? That's the question. I clicked medium fast because I was also fast. watching the other screen with your face on it so we could keep talking. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Who closed out yeah, Woodstock? A, yeah, with an incredible like, rendition of the national anthem. Yeah. Come on now. Yep. Whenever, whenever I see footage of Woodstock, sometimes I wonder if I would have been a victim of the 60s. <laughs> I'm probably. It seems like too much fun. <laughs> like there's no parents, there's no rules. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone was a victim of the 60s. <laughs> the fact that there was no way out. It's like, oh, thank God I was born 30 years too late. <laughs> Which two brothers are known for their very public oh, yeah. sibling sibling rivalry? You had a question earlier was, uh, you know, what band do you want to see reunite? And I was like, oh, probably Oasis, just because I want to see like how they'd react together. That could be <laughs> they have separate stages on opposite ends of the stadium. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. And it's just like a Scott Pilgrim, like Battle of the Bands type thing. Yeah, the actual best seats in the house are in the center of the stadium. Yeah. <laughs> you get the stereo Everyone's experience. Just, yeah, face is blown <laughs> off, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I actually, so I would love, love, love. I've seen Liam Gallagher play before, but I've never seen Noel. Right, right. Who is well known for their four octave range? Uh, uh I'm, I'm guessing pretty sure it's not Jack here. White. <laughs> yeah. Is oh no. Oh, Chris Cornell. Oh. Okay. That's not what I chose. What did you choose? I for the first one. <laughs> you don't even remember. <laughs> no. My memory's like a goldfish when it comes to trivia. Like <laughs> onto the next one immediately. No time to waste. You're just trying to stay present. That's a respectable, yeah, exactly. that's a good strategy. Oh, nailed that one though. That one nice. I did though, and I clicked it super fast. You're but so I'm smart. At, I'm only at 102 <laughs> points. Yeah, speaking of points, we've got Bustin Fields in the lead right now. Uh, Bustin is a legacy player. We see him all the time. Uh, fantastic, fantastic trivia competitor. Uh, mm -hmm. Cute Ponies, not oh, yeah. far behind. Mercs, Lucas, uh, Sabrina, who I've been seeing, I think playing a little more lately. Nice to see you. Um, it's so fun when the gang is all shows up. Everybody's here for the super game. Mm -hmm. It's like a fun Friday tradition. Everybody comes and dukes it out for some money. It's like it's like what you would do in a bar. Exactly. <laughs> right? Yeah. That's what I do at a bar every time. Yeah. <laughs> just, I was pretty sure that was the answer, but I was like, have things changed since then? I was like, I, I don't know. <laughs> You're right. Yeah. Ironically, working in the YouTube space, sometimes I feel like I should know everything, but I just don't. Mm, I know. It's true. We're expected to know everything, especially you of all people, trivia master. <laughs> Don't tell anyone. Yeah. Oh, see, I originally, I was thinking Leonard mm. Cohen, but I was like, mm. I, I switched it last. Always go with your first instinct, people. Yeah. Yeah, that's good advice. Montreal represents also, have to say it. Yeah. Also, I'm always just keen to always choose all of the above in these situations, especially mm. when I'm not sure. And there you go. That's why. Because then, why. technically, even if you're wrong, you're still right. Because 
you technically included one of those people in your answer. Yeah. Oh, this one I answered <laughs> in like two seconds. Come this on. one that goes out to Matt Campbell and all the of the real emo kids out know. there. The real ones know. <laughs> Oh, iconic, iconic emo band. Yes. And he did, okay, what are the, do you know anything about the origins of dubstep? I think he was the first artist of dubstep that I ever came into awareness I, of. Yeah, well, there's also, Was you he know, a pioneer or did he just get famous fastest? I think he got famous fastest because the purists will be like, that's not real dubstep. That's actually called bro step. Um, and they kind of reject <laughs> that type of music. Um, but hey, he killed it. He made a living off that, like. <laughs> right, off blenders and edgins. <laughs> Sorry? Off yeah, blenders exactly. and edgins and. <laughs> All right, Slash is a member of which rock band? Is, was, is... Why did That's I feel true. this was a repeat? Was that a repeat? What was it? Like a... uh, I'm gonna say The true. answer is Guns N' Roses. Yeah. Blink 182's music video for Man Overboard mocked their previous videos. Do you have a favorite music video? Let us know in the chat also if you have a favorite music video. Again, it keeps coming up, but My Chemical Romance, Ghost of You, directed by uh, Mark Webb, amazing. I Do think you just know that off the top of your head? Sorry? <laughs> you just no. knew that off the top of your head? Oh, yeah, 100%. <laughs> <laughs> um, I think it was also like one of the first music videos to cost like a million dollars or something. So, wow, cool. groundbreaking, and was heavily based off Saving Private Ryan. Exactly. Right? Yeah. yeah. See, look, you make fun stuff. of me for knowing, but then you have your own little information you throw into it too. <laughs> I'm the so trivia master. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a pure guess. I, oh, nailed it. Because we were talking and I panicked because I didn't read the question. So it was just like, click, here we go. <laughs> Kesha appeared in Katy Perry's music video, I Kissed a Girl. I saw Katy Perry at Warp Tour in 2008. <laughs> so did I. Look it up. We really Whoa. did have the same childhood. Yeah. <laughs> it's amazing. She was dating the, uh, the lead singer for Gym Class Heroes at that point, I believe. Good for them. Yeah. They seemed happy. All right. We got a couple questions left here, guys. We got Bustin Field still in the lead with 452 points. Cute Pony's not far behind. Smashing, Lucas Merckx, Jinbo, Sabrina, Asman Silver. Matt, you're doing pretty well. It's uh, There are a lot more emo questions than I thought there would be, so I think they're saving <laughs> me a bit here. There's like rock slants, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Imagine yeah, if it's some, all jazz. Like a romance, <laughs> some 30 Seconds to Mars. Yeah, imagine it's all jazz. It's all like something you have no idea. Yeah. <laughs> it's like the extent of jazz I know is from La La Land, so I'm not going to do well here. <laughs> yeah, well, next week is La La Land trivia. You're in luck. Oh, wow. Look at that. <laughs> Which movie? Okay, I think this is the last question. This Which of the following movies so won bad. an Oscar for their musical score? I guessed up, but I'm not. Okay. Look at that. I did not too bad. You killed it. All right. Well done, everyone. We got that. And especially well done to Bustin Fields here, who is walking away with a very cool $100 cash prize, kicking off their weekend the right way. Uh, shout out also to Q Pony smashing Lucas and Mercs for finishing in the top five. Matt, I see you at number nine. That's great. Well done. Top 10. I'll take it. Where did you uh, end up? I can't, I, I don't see you. Oh, 15. It's not important. It's not important. 15. <laughs> Is 15 better than nine? I, I, I'm i not sure. It depends if you believe in how numbers work or not. It's really subjective. <laughs> and what, what do you believe? I believe. Uh, <laughs> thank you everyone for joining. <laughs> this was an absolute blast. Uh, thank you, Matt, for coming. And uh, we'll see you next week, same time, same place for our next Super Game. Remember to keep tuning in for our daily trivia challenges every single day at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Watch mojo.com slash play. Get those mojo points, keep playing the games, and we'll see you next week. Thanks, everyone. <laughs>